Good day to you, everyone. And I uh, hope you have a very lovely day, wherever you may be and whatever you may be doing. My name is Atere Ayodeji. In today's video, I will be telling you about updates in Bahrain. If you must travel to Bahrain, you just have to listen to this very well. Listen to this attentively. If you must travel to Bahrain. A lot of people have been stranded in Bahrain presently and a lot of Nigerians have been uh, a lot of Africans have been uh, doing nuisance, have been contributing to uh, the bad image of Africa, the bad image of Nigerians. So I, there was a video circulating around the internet. There was a guy who was drunk, I don't know, maybe he was possessed or whatever. He was just rolling uh, around, the, around the main express in Bahrain. And those kind of acts has been giving us has been giving us bad names in uh, Bahrain and in Saudi in uh, Dubai in Lebanon in Baghdad those kind of attitude those kind of um, character they, they they are very irritative that damages our own image so I would just implore we African we Nigerians it's high time we give ourselves senses a very good sense we need to stop all those kind of character and if you must travel to Byron please have it at the back of your mind that you are going there to work or you are going there to do business or you are going there to have fun you are not going to Byron or to Dubai to any Gulf country to con to constitute nuisance to add to our problems so please and please let's that one aside so I have a job update for you guys if you know you have um, the money you can do Oman two years resident permit is very very good uh, you don't have problem of, of job we have job on arrival we have driving teaching and um, clinical job for those of you who are nurses or doctors and um, for those of you who can drive yes you can start driving jobs and for those of you who can teach this is the uh, very period that uh, the job is at the peak so if you if you are interested in a woman two years presidential visa, you can just contact me on 08067346645. I mean, if you are interested in Oman two years residential work permit, you can just contact me on 08067346645. And for those of you who must go to uh, who said you must go to uh, Bahrain. If you do not have up to 1.3 million naira, please do, do not just make attempt to travel to Bahrain. At least inside the 1.3 million naira, 950 or 900 can do for your visa and ticket. Then you hold the rest of the money as your BTA, and then when you get there, you can uh, get an apartment. Then uh, see, if you search for job. Uh, life will be more easier for you if you if you have up to like 1.3 or 1.4 million. Make sure you have enough money with you. So if you have like 400 or 500 k with you after your visa and ticket and burden and everything if, if you still have like 400 or 500 k with you i think life will be easier for you over there in Bahrain. but if you do not have up to that that's why you see a lot of people roaming around in the street that's why you see a lot of people uh, contribute uh, constituting nuisance i'll see a lot of people when they get there they, they will not get money to they will not see money to pay for their job they start complaining that there are no jobs in Bahrain. So if you do not have money, enough money, no matter how far it may be, whenever you get to Bahrain, you start complaining. And if you also have money also, you have to give yourself brain and give yourself senses. Do not give your money to uh, scammers, to agencies that will not do visa for you. To, the, do not give your money to agencies that will, that will just dupe you. A lot of people have been contacting me for job. As per me, I do not have job for meals. I do see it again here in, I don't know how the job for meals in Bahrain, but when you get there, uh, who knows, it might be your turn, it might be your luck, um, you might get job, so that is how it works. Nobody will guarantee you job to Bahrain, no any, no any better agency will say, uh, don't worry, when you get there, I have job for you, it's 100%, all those things are lie. Then it is when you get there, that's when you can figure out how the situation will be. So when you get there, when you are, when you search for a job, who knows, you might be the luckiest person, you might get a job, so that is that. But for female, 
I'm still assuring you guys that I job, there are more jobs for females than males in Bari. And once again, before I go, do not forget, if you are interested in two years Oman work visa, if you are either male or female, you can contact me right now. I have a job for you guys if you, if you are interested in Oman. If you are in Dubai, if you are standing there in Dubai, you can also contact me. You can move from Dubai to Oman. Oman just bordered Dubai. It's, it's not very far. It's just like 30 minutes or one hour from Oman to um, Dubai or from Dubai to Oman. Just like from Nigeria to Banana Republic. You know, we just we keep a very we keep a very close border. We are neighbors to each other, but the both countries are different uh, country, which was colonized by different foreigner. <laughs> I think Great Britain colonized Nigeria, if I'm right, if I'm right, and France colonized the, Bene, the Republic of Benin. So that is that for today's video, and I hope you've learned one or two things from it. Number one, co-gentries, if you do not have enough money with you, please, if you have 800, 700, or 900, 1000 naira, do not plan to go to Bahrain, please. But if you know you have enough money that can sustain you, if, if your main motive going there is for you to get a job, you must have enough money that will sustain you, that, that will make you call in on or keep complaining. So I hate seeing people stranded or seeing people complaining they don't have a job or, or they, are, they are painting one country bad. Please, if you don't want to be recording that such, please try and get enough money whenever you want to travel to Bahrain or any other part of the world. Make sure you secure enough money. That is that for today's video. Thank you. And please just never forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's the engines that keep us running. That's what I always say. And turn on the notification bell in order for you to get notified whenever we drop a new video like this. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.